that's really what got me started in cranial sacral therapy. It was, it just didn't make sense. How could this man have this gentle hold on my head for an hour, hour and 15 minutes? And, and first of all, have it be so disruptive that I could feel it for the next day and a half. And then for that to start this process of me really changing my life and getting healthy. And I just said, you know, that might be a good place to spend the next chunk of my life is learning cranial sacral therapy. But there's a difference between just coming in in our normal state of mind and coming in contact with somebody and coming in and really settling down inside of myself and really grounding myself and feeling the fluids in my body and letting the thoughts dissipate and then finding that state and then coming in contact with a person. And then without changing any of that awareness, Gently come into contact with your partner's wrist or elbow, whatever you've decided to come in contact with. Put one hand maybe above the joint, one hand below it. Make sure you're both comfortable. Get settled closer or further away. Whatever you need to do to feel comfortable. you feel like you're touching right now. And so there's three layers of tissue, endoderm, ectoderm, and mesoderm. And those are that really everything in your body eventually becomes a derivative of one of those three things. Uh, it's pretty fascinating. And so <clears throat> one of the, I don't want to say advanced concepts, so one of the concepts in cranial work <clears throat> is that when you come into relationship with something is you can treat it on an embryological level. So when you have your hands on somebody's cranium like this, what you're gonna actually feel, I'll, I'll mimic it with this hand, is you're gonna feel a widening and a narrowing of those bones because they actually hinge together. And as you get trained, you start to be able to feel what those would feel like. And of course, most of the time we're working on pretty healthy people. And after you do enough healthy people, you can really start to feel when something doesn't feel right. The stiller I become, the more aware I am, and the more I can perceive. It was so interesting. Remember we were talking about the parasympathetic nervous system? Yeah. The rest and digest phase oh, of it. Oh, it was unbelievable. Yeah. I've never been aware of that before, have you? Like that? I've never really done that. <laughs> <laughs> this is so interesting. <laughs> Sweet.